to you friend, welcome back to our channel, our topic today is titled, Reverence and Obedience, with that said let's start, our memory text for today's lesson is coming from the book of, Deuteronomy 13 verse 4, Do 13 to 4 ye shall walk after the Lord your God, and fear him, and keep his commandments, and obey his voice, and ye shall serve him, and cleave unto him, Amen and Amen and Ecclesiastes 12 verse 13, the Bible records, let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter, fear God, and keep his commandments, for this is the whole duty of man, amen and amen, friend, as followers of Christ, above and beyond everything else, we stand forgiven, hallelujah, amen, and amen, no matter, what we have done, we can, by faith, claim the righteousness of Christ, a righteousness that he not only wrought out in his own life, but freely offers to us, all we have to do, is accept it, and then, no matter how sinful our lives have been, we can stand before God as perfect in his sight as was Jesus, hallelujah, amen, and amen, our sins are no longer held against us, they are rather forgiven, as a result, our lives are transformed, and we determine, by his grace, to show forth the praises of him, who hath called you out of darkness, into his marvelous light, this is recorded in the book of 1 Peter 2 verse 9, and hence, we will want to be the kind of persons, he desires, his people to be, in all holy conversation and godliness, looking for and hasting unto the coming of the day of God, we will look, according to his promises, for new heavens and earth, wherein dwelleth righteousness and will be diligent, in order that we, may be found, with him in peace, without spot and blameless, this is recorded in the book of 2 Peter 3 verse 11 to 14, Hallelujah, Amen, and Amen, friend, notice how the two texts for today's lesson, clearly link fear or relevance of God with obedience to his commandments, how can one show respect or reverence, to someone, or something, and then blatantly defy the will of the one they claim to revere, it's like telling someone, you love them and then overtly and blatantly defying them, and all that you know they stand for, friend, why can we not truly revere God, while being openly disobedient to him, and how does the Sabbath play into this whole concept of reverence, please let us discuss together in the comments section, hope you were blessed with today's lesson, please share to bless others like if you enjoyed it, and please subscribe for more blessing content, see you in the next video by God's grace, may the good Lord, bless you all in the mighty name of Jesus, our Savior and Lord, Amen and Amen.